Good morning, Ben from Fisher Painting. Just a quick impromptu video and very amateur. But I just wanted to have a quick chat to talk about painting of, of properties and commercial buildings and houses and what have you. I come across this situation a lot in my career where buildings haven't been prepared and primed and painted properly. We see a lot of large companies around New Zealand, um, well presented, nice vans, um, so they don't use subcontractors, um, basically saying they can offer a one-stop shop, nationwide service, and everything looks good from the marketing point of view, which I don't disagree with, that's good, and we, we like to market ourselves um, effectively. But at the end of the day, when it comes to painting of your asset or your building, it comes back to the basics of preparing and priming and then painting. A lot of companies, they forget about the prepare and prime, I think. And this is another classic example. This is a police station in Auckland. You can see behind me this um, galvanised steel fencing. It's pretty much all just falling off with a scraper. It just shows that it hasn't been prepared properly or primed. Otherwise it would have, would have stuck on there. And then we've got the, um, the concrete tilt panel walls. Sure, it would look good when it was first done. Nice shiny anti-graffiti paint I'd imagine. But it basically just peels off. And it's just coming off in sheets. And it comes back to the areas not being prepared and primed. So just, just a quick word, word of warning. Make sure you do select a company that will look after your asset properly, that does what they say they're going to do, and they will prepare the walls and paint properly, because that's what we do. And that's our company's official painting services, and that's partly why we selected to do this, this type of work. And um, I'll shoot you another video once it's done um, of the, the system that we've used as well. So have a good day, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.